Hello and welcome to all you Virgos. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for Virgo for already July 2015. And what an, uh, again, a very uh, interesting month where a lot is happening. And um, let's have, let's break it down what are the main aspects here. There is a bit of a continuation of last month. So um, there are three things I think are mainly important for the Virgos. First of all, I will be talking about the square between Jupiter and Saturn and then about Venus Jupiter conjunction. And then last but not least, a bit about the Pluto Uranus square that is indeed fading away. But there are some planets that are triggering it again. But mostly the most important thing is the square that is coming up between Jupiter and Saturn. Now for you Virgos, what does it mean? Jupiter is in your 12th house, the most hidden house. And Saturn went backwards into your third house. So it is actually at the cusp of the third and the fourth house. Now what does it mean? Well, it means that where your structure is, that's Saturn. So Saturn is going backwards into the third house, which means that you will be um, doing some more work, uh, considering your um, ideas, your, the way that you think. Um, you're trying to figure it out like a true Virgo. And you're trying to understand things and you try to do that in a rather structured way because that's Saturn and the third house is the way that you think. And what is Jupiter? Jupiter in your 12th house where also Venus is for um, a long time, the whole month of July, but even a bit more because Venus will be going retrograde. That in your 12th house is a blessing for the Virgo. I already... Uh, talked about it in earlier monthly horoscopes that having Jupiter in the 12th is a blessing to relax. It's a blessing to become a bit more uh, um, spiritual, a bit more uh, understanding, a bit more detached from your own, um, from, from the day-to-day -day life, you could say. It's um, a good time to relax as well and to learn how to do that. So, What's happening now during the whole month of July, and it's a building up towards the end of the month, is a square. A square between that Jupiter there that wants to relax and that will give you the possibility to do so. And the square between Saturn that wants to structure, that wants to, um, to make something uh, stronger. So there's a clash between those two planets. And in reality... Um, those two planets, they don't understand each other. So Saturn is about making boundaries and making structure and Jupiter is about breaking them open and seeing opportunities and growth. So um, whenever there's a square, it means tension and it means that we need to um, focus on the balance between the two. We need to do a little bit of time sharing, you could say, because if we go too much to the Saturn, which probably the Virgos, well, let's say mostly of the Virgos will do, they will get too rigid, too, um, rigid is a negative word, but I mean too structured, too trying to figure things out, um, you know, this here, the head, being too much in the head, being, uh, and we Virgos, I say we because I'm a Virgo myself, we know that when we're getting too much into the head, we need to do something to get out of the head, you know, Basically, that's getting into your body and doing some exercises and uh, getting back on planet Earth and not on that uh, always thinking, 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 because when we overanalyze things, we don't see clear anymore. That's um, so maybe some of you Virgos need to timeshare a little bit more to the relaxing um energy which is Jupiter where Jupiter and Venus is and they go nicely together Jupiter and Venus so it's energy that gives you the opportunity to learn things that has to do with 12th house things which is relaxing which is um, it, it could be yoga uh, it could be meditation I know how difficult that is for Virgos but are are walking um, in nature 
um, doing nothing actually. Can you imagine that, you Virgos out there, doing nothing? And, um, or reading a nice book or, but not a book that is about, you know, again, the structure, the details. No, a book that is about, let's say, romance, for instance, you know, or, or, or a good plot that takes you away from the day to day life and relaxes you or a good movie or whatever. And uh, doing this on a regular basis will help the Virgos tremendously. So um, this is for the Virgos who tend to go too much to the Saturn, who tend to go and who feel almost, you know, if you go too much to the Saturn, you feel depressed. You feel like everything is a mountain before you. And um, there will be some Virgos uh, um, amongst you who have maybe, um, I don't know, a Sagittarius rising or a Pisces rising, who is a bit more Jupiterian ruled and who will go a bit maybe too much to the Venus-Jupiter conjunction. So who will go too much to the uh, escaping into reality, uh, maybe doing too much of, um, you know, uh, I, I just want to relax, I don't want to think of my problems. If you do that too much, Saturn will be knocking on the door and will make sure that you're not um, having fun. So you see what I mean? Then the, the, uh, the, the, the process that you are going through is being a bit more responsible, being a bit more. But I think, again, for most Virgos, it will be that other thing that I just explained. Um, uh, so, yes, then it will be... <clears throat> If you are a Virgo that has now the, you know, the, the, uh, you're, you're escaping too much from reality, you see, and, and don't forget Neptune is there in your seventh house. So maybe in, you're escaping in romances, in secret romances or whatever, uh, because the twelfth house is a house of secrecy. But um, then, then, of course, Saturn will be knocking on your door. And um, Saturn is our, our, uh, structure and um, it's a bit of a fight between faith and reality that's Jupiter and Saturn so there is for all of us for all the signs a bit of a fight and a bit of a clash there but the clash is there to get us back on track and um, that's what this is all about another thing especially with the Venus going retrograde in your 12th house and that is as from let's have a look Venus going retrograde as from the 25th to 26th of the month. So it's, it, it's, it just, it's um, at zero degrees of Virgo around that time, just in your sign, and then it goes backwards. So um, uh, what does it mean? Venus going retrograde in the 12th house can mean that uh, the 12th house is also karma house, a very karmic house, uh, a house of um, releasing the past. So maybe... A past love comes uh, back into your life and there is some kind of closure there. There's a, you know, we all have those relationships or it doesn't necessarily have to be a, um, a romantic relationship but or a friendship. Uh, but anyway, a, a relationship that was close to the heart in the past and there's, there's still things that need to be resolved there and it's a good time to do so. It's a good time to... Uh, to clean that up, you could say, to maybe um, you are going to meet a, um, an ex or, or, or a friend that you were once very fond of. And there needs to be some closure there. There needs to be some dissolvement there. And it's good, you know, then you can go on. So for some amongst you, it will have to do with that as well. So this is a, actually the, the most important transit because not all, whenever you have two rather um, social planets like Jupiter and, and, and Saturn, which, which is about our structures and our belief, but a very fast planet like Venus. Well, it's not fast now, but normally it's faster. When it triggers that aspect, it becomes even more important. And um, Venus is going to stay there up until September. So this is very significant for all of us. And Venus will be, when it it's involved with the Jupiter Saturn square. Um, so, um, and it's on Regulus, the fixed star Regulus, which is very ambitious. So, there is ambition involved here as well. Ambitiousness, 
uh, about I want this to succeed. I want fate and reality to become one, to become. And do, don't we all Virgos want that? If we have a certain faith, we want to bring it into reality. And I think it has to do, uh, it might have to do with things from the past. It might have to do with um, uh, you feeling a bit stressed out and wanting to relax. And it also might have to do with your home situation because Saturn is on the cusp of the fourth house as well. So it might have to do with some things that you need to... Like, for instance, for instance, there is a problem in the house. There is, um, I don't know, what kind of problem? There's a structural problem in the house. I have that at the moment. And um, I would want to, I, I have a Sagittarius rising, so I'm a bit more, you know, the Jupiterian role. Oh, I'll relax and things will solve. But it's, it's not like that. So if I go too much to the Venus Jupiter, too much of the relaxing, and um, I'm not going to look at the problem. Uh, the problem in my house will stay. It won't go away. So you really need to address then to your responsibilities and things will get into balance again. So very interesting month indeed. The other thing, the last thing I want to talk about that is less important for you because uh, you are not uh, a cardinal sign is that a lot of activity in your 11th house. And this is, um, th uh, this is actually really nice your 11th house because the 11th house is one of the most fun houses it's one of the most social houses uh, it's the house of friends it's the house of your future what you want in the future what you uh, are thinking about your objectives for the future your goals for the future and there's so much activity there now there's Mars in there your ruler Mercury that is going very very fast this month uh, so you feel that things are going um, faster than last month and um, it's also it, it is and the sun and mercury and mars that all will be there in that house in cancer of um, a very social house as well so i think it's going to be busy for the virgos um, and what does it mean it's all the male planets and the neutral planet of mercury that is there in your 11th house so it's a good time if you want to get more social, do it and do it yourself. You know, go out yourself. Don't wait there until people come to you. Another thing is if you want to get more on <clears throat> um, establish a network, Facebook, uh, Twitter, website or being social, going to um, meetings where like minded people meet each other. This is a very good time to initiate that and you are really going to see some fruits there because if you discuss things with like-minded people about your goals and this is all very stimulated this month and um, it and also very transformative why because this energy opposes pluto in your fifth house and it squares up to uranus so there's something very uh, revolutionary so maybe um you uh, will feel a bit of resistance in the beginning, like, do I need to have to be so social for your work, for instance, or whatever, whatever. Um, and once you get started, you can't stop anymore. So then that's the Pluto Uranus square that I think is not going to be um, very difficult now for the, for the Virgos because Cancer energy is sextiling your energy, which means it's a nice flow there. So a good time to... Um, to be amongst uh, your friends and uh, to talk about the future and that's it so it's it's a very interesting month for the virgos it's a month where we can make shifts um with a bit of effort of course but um i, I wish you all the best you nice virgos out there dear virgos and um thank you for watching and thank you for all your support bye bye